I need a dedicated box wrench for my uh, drill press table. Needs a 15, 16 inch uh, wrench. Uh, all I have is this little stubby wrench, so it didn't have enough leverage. Um, check the pricing at Sears, it was like a $15 wrench. So I was like, well, wait a minute, let me just see if I can make a wrench from the stubby one by adding a longer handle. Uh, so I'd cut up a, a wrench. I don't use this this 19 millimeter wrench very much. Don't need. I have some others. So you can see here I uh, marked uh, with the sharpie where I would cut them to weld the pieces together. I like to use a technique called brazing. To do brazing, you need uh, several several tools. You need uh, some brazing rods. Here's a uh, bronze and uh, nickel silver. They have they have a flux coating on them. You can also use some additional. Uh, liquid rosin or flux need a uh, torch which in this case I use uh, map gas and a uh, mixture of map gas and oxygen my torch is uh, actually a little small torch it's called a micro torch got this online fairly cheap I also like to use a, uh, a, ma a mask uh, for uh, some of the gases that are off by the uh, process. I'm going to cut it with this angle grinder. Metal cutting disc there. And clean up the uh, pieces, the ends, with uh, my belt sander from Harbor Freight. Another cheap purchase. Also some uh, cleanup work with a uh, bench grinder and a uh, wire wheel on the bench grinder. To hold the pieces while I braze them together, I got two identical uh, adjustable vices for my uh, attached to my bench here. And here I am cutting it. As you can see in the background, I tried a, another device there to help me cut the piece off but I found it was actually better or easier for me to do it by hand yeah, I'm time-lapsing this a little bit to save time um, you do have to be careful how deep you cut because it might want to bind and grab the uh, disc in your hand so you have to be uh, careful how deep you cut there we go one of them done Here's a neat little uh, trick. If you want to pick up all those metal filings that you've cut off and they're laying around the floor, take a uh, ne neodymium magnet I got out of a hard drive and put it, put it in a plastic bag and then just pick them all up. Worked pretty well, actually. And then you can use the plastic bag to separate the filing from the magnet. And uh, cleaning up the uh, grinded edge so the, the two parts will meet together nicely. You can get an idea of what the uh, final wrench would look like, two pieces. And before I do the brazing though, I want to expose the, make some nice clean metal, not just on the ends where they'll meet, but uh, with the surface where the new uh, bronze material will flow to. And here it is before I've done any uh, brazing yet. I've got the two pieces clamped in my vices and aligned close to one another. How I'd like to position them. I want to look kind of straight so I'm just eyeballing the uh, how straight it looks. Looks close enough. Having two of these ident identical uh, clamps is kind of, uh, or vices are quite useful for this type of purpose. Used it uh, several times to braze items together. Here I'm going to use some of this uh, liquid rosin first with a little brush. And the parses, uh, parts where I have already sort of uh, grinded away the surfaces. Put some extra rosin there. Like I said, the uh, 
the rods I have are already fluxed, flux coated. So there I've got the map gas turned on and you can see I just turned on the oxygen. As I understand it, you uh, adjust the mix of oxygen and, ga and uh, map gas to create little, like a little pencil blue flame as you see there. I was so focused on uh, doing the brazing here, I didn't really zoom in close so you could see the uh, detail a little bit better. But uh, the, the main idea to brazing is make sure you uh, have to really get the the metals that you're trying to braze together, you know, super, super hot. I mean, glowing red hot to even white hot. That way the uh, bronze will uh, flow. It's pretty much the same idea as uh, if you've ever done electronic soldering, except that's much lower temperature. Uh, in order for the metal to flow, you have to have the the surface that you want the fl metal to flow to to be so hot that with the uh, rosin it'll flow. Well, here it is after I've done it. Kind of ugly looking but uh, still a very strong uh, joint. In a minute here I'll use the uh, bench grinder to clean it. I use the grinding wheel. I didn't uh, videotape that but use the grinding wheel a little bit first to rough rough it in and then I use the wire wheel here to uh, do the final cleanup. One thing to make sure you, when you're using a wire wheel is don't stand in the plane. Hear that? It was one of the wire pins slipping off the wire wheel and, and flinging at high speed into that piece of cardboard in the background. So don't stand in the plane where this thing is spinning because those things come off pretty violently quick. Here it is all cleaned up. And plenty strong enough for my purpose. Now I have a nice long handled 15 16 inch box wrench. And then the next day I went to Ace Hardware and found they had uh, they were doing a clearance and I saw a 15 16 inch wrench for half off so for about five bucks I could have bought it anyway. Oh well it was still fun brazing it anyway.